Hi, this is Ryan Gibbons from Remax Real Estate Limited, and I'd like to talk to you today about inspections. And home inspections are a very important part of the real estate process because it allows the buyer to go through the house and make sure that the house doesn't have any major defects, uh, issues that, uh, that might change the value of the home. Uh, so just want to go over a few things that you might want to just be aware of, things that you're going to be um, hearing about and things you're going to have to know about uh, to really understand what happens with the inspection. And in New Jersey, um, basically an inspection happens after the home is under contract. So you'll have uh, an agreed upon price, you'll go through attorney review, and then uh, during the 10-day period you'll have an inspection. Uh, you'll have a qualified inspector come through the house and take maybe an hour, an hour or two, depending on the size of the house, uh, and they're going to go through the house and uh, basically get a fine tooth comb and, and go over some things that you might want to be aware of. I recommend that you attend the, the inspection. And I also recommend that you walk through the house with the inspector. You, know, you can uh, hear the things that they're saying as they're walking through. They're going to be able to explain things, you know, how your heating system works, um, how different systems in the house work. Uh, so you know, they're, they're professionals at what they do. So you're going to learn a lot, um, especially if you're a first-time buyer. So some of the things that they're going to be going through and looking at uh, important things, uh, they're going to be looking at your roof. Uh, are there many major issues? Is there uh, moss growing on your roof? Is there uh, limbs growing over the top of your house? Um, get a general idea of uh, the condition of your roof. Uh, other things you're going to be looking at is your electrical system. Is it out of date? Is it uh, up to par for your home? Are there any wires that are hanging out? Are there any uh, potential dangers, fire hazards? Um, they're also going to be looking for water damage, mold damage, uh, potentially fire damage, um, any leakage that might be coming in from roofs or, or bad windows or um, you know, the different things that might be happening in the house. Uh, they're going to be looking at your plumbing. Uh, do your faucets work? Do your toilets flush properly? Are there any drainage issues? Uh, anything that they may see in terms of the traps and uh, the general setup of your, of your plumbing system. Uh, your heating system. Is it up to par? Is it 100 years old? Does it work well? Is it sufficient for your home? Uh, and again, they're going to you know, hopefully be able to go through and tell you how that works. Do you have a boiler? Uh, do you have forced hot air? Do you have you know, whatever system you have? Um, they can give you a little bit of information on how that works. Uh, same for your cooling system. Uh, do you have central air conditioning? And if you do, does it work? Uh, how old is it? Is it in good condition? How does it work? How do you handle it? What do you need to do on, on a weekly, monthly, and yearly basis? Uh, do your dish, does your dishwasher work? Uh, does, you know, are there issues with outlets? Do you have GFI outlets near water, uh, near your sink, near your bathroom? Do you have those outlets? Uh, looking on the outside of your home, how's your siding? Do you have cedar shake siding? Do you have asbestos tiles? Do you have uh, vinyl siding? What's the condition of that? Uh, how quickly might you need to replace that? Uh, how's your foundation look? Are there cracks? Are there issues? Um, you know, are there landscaping issues around your foundation? Uh, so those are just some of the things that they're going to be going through. And you should get a fairly lengthy report with pictures explaining things. And they're going to tell you some things that you might want to address, uh, you need to address, and things that are in serious need of repair. So those are things that you're going to want to look at, talk to your realtor about, talk to your lawyer about. And there may be things that you need, may need to ask for a concession. There may be things that you may need to ask the homeowner to fix. Um, and then there's going to be other things that you're just going to, you know, want to be aware of. Um, and then after that inspection, they may request or may suggest that you do further inspections. Um, you may need to uh, test for an oil tank. Certainly on any older homes that you don't have paperwork for that the tank has been removed, you're going to, you most likely are going to want to have someone come through and sweep for an oil tank. Uh, it's not something that you want to pay for because it can get very, very pricey. Uh, you may need to follow up uh, with a termite inspection or bug inspection. Uh, is there evidence of, of termites in the home? And that's something that can be very serious. It can be something that can be easily taken care of, um, but you could have uh, serious damage from termites uh, if it's not taken care of. And just other follow-ups that you may need to have um, with an electrician, with a plumber, some things that they may not be able to verify and you want to bring in an expert uh, and get estimates. So these are some of the things that you're, you're going to want to be aware of. Uh, certainly it's not uh, comprehensive, but it's, it certainly gives you an idea of what you're going to want to think about when you're going into that home inspection, what you might expect, and uh, what you should be uh, getting out of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, please feel free to, to comment here, 
uh, my information is on the bottom of the screen, so if you want to reach out to me uh, with any questions uh, on what was said today. But I, enjoyed the, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Again, Ryan Giddens, Remax Real Estate Limited in Bergen County, New Jersey. Thank you.